Right. That's in your memorandum rights. Right. You know what I mean? So you supposed to just fall back and, and don't go for that. So evidently he trusted the sister to go up there, you know, and, and try to manifest and explain, you know. And it's like as far as with how I feel about the brother R. Kelly, you know, when 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 he was up and this how he believed he could fly and you know, all the good times and you ever think that you would be this rich and all white popping, Jay Z, everybody they running around with him and they dealing with him. It was already out there that he had married Aaliyah. She was young. She was 15 and right. this, that, and the third. So, you know, it's, it's understandable that the man got a fetish for young girls. Right. You understand? It? That's understandable. You know what I mean? Right. But then when you take it to the extent, when it's taken to the extent <clears throat> where, you know, like, R. Kelly, I'm sure, know a lot of the famous players. And if you know people that know famous players and people that know, you know, the gentlemen of the evening, you know, I'm going to just say, you know, pimps and things like that. If yeah. R. Kelly was a real pimp, none of them girls would have said nothing. Baby mother, them dancers, nobody. Right. You understand? But see, R. Kelly is a Pisces, and he's a March Pisces. And Pisces have the tendency to wear their hearts on their sleeves. They'll give you the shirts off their backs, and, you know, they make themselves accessible, and like, yo, you know, we all gonna blow up, we all gonna do this together. And somewhere in his generosity, you know, somebody betrayed him and exposed him. Right. Even with that first tape that came out, you understand? Right. Now, I'm not saying... I'm not saying, there's a lot of brothers out there, man, and, and I ain't gonna drop no names because people get upset when I drop names, but, you know, I, I must speak the truth. Right. You know, but I'm sure a lot of brothers, especially in the entertainment business, done urinated on the wisdom, you know, them been in like a little cocaine frenzy. Once you get to that height, man, where you like, you, you accept it in them Hollywood parties and them Studio 54 parties and... You know, cocaine is being passed around in the abundance and, you know, uh, liquor is being passed around, weed, and then ever since ecstasy, see that ecstasy and all that other shit, that wasn't out when we was out. So cocaine was just like Rick James said, the hell of a drug. Right. And you see what happened to him. It ain't really, you know, that's Rick James. He like, I'm Rick James, I'm a star. So, you know, he took that shit too far, and that's why it's all a joke, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Right. But he went, did his time, did his numbers, he gonna forever be Rick James to us. Right. But now back to R. Kelly, you know, where, where he where he messed up at is to go on TV. You're supposed to go on TV calm and cool and talk to this sister. Now, you already supposed to have, you know, she already posted knew the questions. You posted knew the questions she was going to ask you. Right. If you were in there just straight blind, like, like I don't know what you're going to, sometimes I know what you're going to ask me and sometimes I don't. But I got to maintain my composure, though. Right. You feel me? Right. And especially with cameras, so, you know, you, you know, the cameras is watching you. They're watching if you got a little nervous tics, if your leg is bouncing, or if you... Uh, you know, popping your knuckles while you're sitting there, and if you're blinking and you're looking down to the left, you're supposed to go on there. If you felt you can go on TV, man, and manifest this to the world, you're supposed to have went up there relaxed, man, and real confident in what you was going to manifest. But all that crying, yo, yes, yes, once you get emotional, that's already showing a sign of not guilt, but weakness. Mm. You understand? That's not to say you guilty. You you show you you let your, your emotions build up inside you. You know it's being God body. The man ain't supposed to get emotional. The wisdom get emotional. Emotion is like water. That's why we draw the water up to the earth. We draw the water up from the earth's surface to, to the fullest uh, to the fullest of its atmosphere. Then it distills back to the earth and form uh, drops of ice and drops of snow. Right. So that's dealing with the science of emotions, water. You know, you were supposed to be solid with that. You were supposed to be wisdom and reactive crying and shit like that. So once you did that, now you hear the wisdom, Robert, Robert, Robert. Bitch, you don't know me. Right. Fuck you talking about Robert, Robert. For why is you a, how come you, you know, how come you, as soon as you're open, start chilling, how come you got divorced from your husband with two kids and they never been married since? How come Oprah been with Stephanie for like 40, 50 
motherfucking years ain't married him yet. He was supposed to fly back at their ass, man. Right. Well, you know, well, I like women, though, young girls. Come on, man. In some countries, that shit ain't even illegal, man. Right. A 15-year-old. I just heard a commercial out here. The chick, you know, one of them, uh, one of them safety commercials, you know, like, like drug, alcohol commercials. The girl was like, well, you know, um, I had to stop using drugs and everything because now I'm 15 and I got two kids. Now, this is a commercial for her for not using drugs. Well, hold up. If you got two kids and you're 15, it takes nine months to have a baby. So that means you was fucking when you was 13. Where was your mother and your parents and all Gail and all the motherfuckers? Right. So why is you signaling out R. Kelly? Why is you signaling out Michael Jackson? He's been dead about 10 years now. Why is you rehash that shit? He got found not guilty. So we supposed to, we supposed to, you, you know, Oprah and Gail, y'all don't come when a, when a black man gets shot in the back. You want to yell, me too, me too, but you ain't with the Black Lives Matter shit. You ain't going hard on that when these young black brothers are getting shot in their motherfucking back. You ain't taking that cause, but you want to say, me too, me too, like old women. All that shit, really, man, I'm not saying that no sisters, all brothers, males for that matter, haven't been molested or raped or bothered or anything like that. So nobody within the sound of my voice, please don't get me wrong. Right. But at the same time, man, you're going to mean to tell me that ain't no woman going to come and lie because she was scorned. That's what he was trying to say. Right. And then, you know, Tupac never raped that girl, man. He just ain't get the broad, um, he, the, the broad was fucking other niggas in the hotel in the park of Meridian. Right, I know. He just ain't giving no motherfucking cash, cab money, so when she felt disrespected, she come back here yeah, rape. Right. Busy B was on tour with LL. He ain't raped no broad, but they stopped his ass in Minnesota. The tour kept going, by the way. Mm. His ass stayed in motherfucking Minnesota with a rape case. Because mm. that's why whenever I do shows, and whenever I went on tour, I had to check L. L. Russell them one time, like girls and shit. We all, I forget where we were, and it's like girls and shit coming in and out of the room. I told Russell, I said, yo, man, come on, man. I said, Busy B locked up for some, some rape shit, man. Who is these girls? I, I got the guards with me, and I tell the guards, if you go fuck something, you better go get you another room in another motherfucking hotel. Don't bring nothing in this room around me, nothing. Right. Stay in this motherfucker. We all go out together. We all come back in together. We eat together. Don't trust no broads. Don't go fucking with no broads. Right. Because you put yourself out there. And so... You know, he got acquitted of that shit back in the day, whatever. So he tried to redeem himself, tried to come back with the music and all that. Then here comes, you know, the parents, that's another thing. Nobody don't want to say the father, oh, I was heated. I watched the um, Surviving R. Kelly thing, too. Okay, and what was your thoughts on that? I mean, it was all corny, and it was garbage, and it was bullshit. Because, first of all, I got five daughters, man. I got four sons and five daughters. Would none of my daughters be in that situation, period. Because the science and your daughters wouldn't have been in the situation. If your daughter came home and said, Dad, I'm dancing for R. Kelly, whether he whether he had them little charges on him or not, right. you ain't gonna be like, oh yeah, go ahead, go. Now you know what? I got to sit down with R. Kelly. What's good, man? So what what what's she entitled and how much she getting paid? What's going on with that? Oh, well, she gonna do this, that, and the third. Okay, well, you know, somebody, her mom's or sister, somebody gonna have to be with her. But she need to be chaperoned to go do this because I'm not allowing my child to go out there. Career c- career move, money-wise, but none of that shit. Right. If your daughter made it to R. Kelly and made it to his, his, his boudoir and made it to his, his grasp at 14, 15 years old, that means you wasn't doing your motherfucking job. So I'm going to ask you one thing, thing Chris. Go ahead. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. And I know you're going to answer it. And anybody from New York going to understand this. You know what Channel 5 is, right? In New York? Yeah. At 10 o'clock, what did they used to say every night? <laughs> Do you know where your child is? <laughs> <laughs> say no more. 
Some of the blame, though, for what he's done. I mean, there's multiple. Of course, he has some okay. of the blame. Okay. Now, now, because you see, the blame goes like this. You know, for one, but you know, he's an artist, man, and, and artists, a lot of artists ain't right. A lot of artists got some shit with him. Right. You understand? That's why I never encourage none of my children really to be like artists, music business, acting, and all that shit. Because it's real fickle, man. Yeah. Your okay. career is really a bunch of yes motherfuckers telling you that you're the best and you're talented only because you in that light and only because you got that money. Right. If he wasn't a singer and he wasn't R. Kelly, that shit, he wouldn't have been on the motherfucking interview. Right, and course. if he wasn't a singer, and if he wasn't singing R. Kelly, that's not to say the girls wouldn't have been on his dick. What about if he was a drug dealer? Right. If he had the money without the notoriety, come on, man. So the whole point is, you, 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 brothers and sisters, that's like 40, 50 years old with these young girls and these young boys. You know what I mean? Stop parenting your children, man. You got a responsibility. You feel you can just give your child a motherfucking iPhone and a motherfucking computer and let that technology raise your child while you yourself is on Facebook and Instagram looking for love and who and who motherfucking business. Put all that technology shit down, man, and get for real. Or don't have no goddamn children. Well, everybody that has kids ain't, ain't really a good mother or a good father. Right. So, the, I'm saying, like, the ones, they wasn't the father and mother. Y'all not no church free. Y'all wasn't church fearing, God fearing, like, oh, my God, you know, where's my daughter? Because she wouldn't have been out there. Right. You feel me? Right. Because, like, a pimp, when, when a pimp get prostituted, you know, I, I don't want to say, quote, unquote, hoes or whatever, that's because she done, the girl done been through some shit. Right. So she's looking for somebody to take care of her. She's looking for some attention. She's looking for what she's not getting at home. So what them young girls wasn't getting at home? Right. Then you got some of the sisters like, oh, you know, I know, I know he had a girl, but he told me it wasn't nothing serious. Wrong. You ain't get no money. You ain't get the dream. Like Big Daddy Kane said one thing. He said, matter of fact, smooth operator, what he said. He said, sold a nice dream, as high as the price seems. Girlfriend, Girlfriend you've been you scooped, scooped like, like ice, ice cream. cream. See, that's what I mean. See, we said Kane was telling you this, smooth operator. Right. You feel me? So, you know, that's, see, that's the, the, to get into hip-hop and for all the listeners. See, that's why our hip-hop made sense. The, you know, the, the, the late 80s, early 90s, our shit made sense because we had something to say. We had an agenda, man. Okay. It ain't like, you know, it ain't like, no disrespect to now, but then again, I, I intend some disrespect. It's, don't tell me, oh, let the brothers, let the young niggas live, let them do their thing. Let, it's corny, man. All this shit is corny and nobody don't want to say it because everybody want to be politically correct. Well, let's speak about politically correct, because there were some comments right. that was made on some of the videos about your status and what you're doing. And there's a lot of people that have something to say. So I want to clear the air. Do you, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Okay. So one of the, one of the main issues people had was, was two things. When they hear the interviews and you keep referencing that you have a white girl, but you're supposed to be God by they see that okay. they see that there's some contradiction in there, and a lot of people are saying that was fans, not just people of today, but fans of your music from when you had it, when you came out with your music at the time that you came out with your right. music, the message that you was preaching. They feel you're very contradicting to who that that got guy in that music was to the guy they hear in these interviews. 
So can you clear that up for them so they can have a better understanding? And then they also feel that a lot of things that you say is from a negative conversation. So I want you to express some knowledge on that for them. Okay. So what you mean is you want me to manifest the wisdom of the science. Right. Now, right. particularly uh, where I'm at right now in the wilderness of North America, you understand? Where I'm at, it's mostly... Uh, a Caucasian, predominantly Caucasian, you know, type of thing, type of atmosphere. Yeah. So while I'm here and, and, and while I'm while I'm doing what I have to do, it's like, you know, I befriended uh, a, a, a Caucasian female. She befriended me. You know what I mean? She needed some knowledge herself. She needed some uh, security and assurance. And, you know, she don't come from a fucked up family or nothing, but she was just being handled the same thing. Right. You know what I mean? By by uh, original brothers out here, by black men out here spinning around and taking the money and all that shit. So I just, one of the brothers happened to be, you know, he wasn't fucking with it, but happened to try to call himself God. And I used to just do the knowledge, you know, to the wisdom. And so, you know, he tried to throw 5% at her. And so I asked the brother, I said, yo, black man, you guys? Yeah, true indeed. You know about the gods? So I said, yeah, man. I said, I might have heard of it. I said, yo, you ever heard of that brother named King Sun? Oh, yeah, King Sun. That's the God, man. That's the God, man. I said, yeah, man. Peace, God. I'm King Sun. Right. What lessons you know, God? So then when I got at the brother, you know, we start building anything. Right. But it's like, you know, I, I manifest to the God, man. God, this is, this. I don't know how y'all do it out here, man, but this is how we do it. Right. So, you know. I befriended the, the I befriended the wisdom. She German, she a little young German wisdom, about a wisdom power years old, twenty five years old. Right. You know what I mean? So I wasn't really like in a relationship and, and with her I'm not really in a relationship. Like she's always with me because she don't have nothing else. So you right. know, I kinda take care of the wisdom, you feel me? Right. Put up on, you know, she already uh, was graduating and going to college and everything and was fucking with some dude and then, you know, she went to see the dude and they wound up raping her and all that and I was going to handle that, but I said, no, one well, let me fall back because it's going to get bigger than you if I get down like that. Right. But when this happened, she didn't know me, so I just told her, yo, you need to stay away from that element like that. But to manifest, okay, well, this is the God. And how is the God fucking with a Caucasian woman? Right. But as I manifest to you, Craze, it's like W.F. Muhammad, who, talk, who was Elijah Muhammad's educator, his mother was Caucasian. I have physical cousins that that's God body, that their mother is Caucasian. And what is manifested in the lessons, in the 5% lesson nation, in the 5% nation lessons, pardon me, because I meant to say, as well as Muslim supreme lessons, supreme wisdom, the black man is God who teaches knowledge and wisdom to all human families of the planet Earth. Not just the black man, to all human families of the planet Earth. And then, so when it comes to the wisdom, the God also see wisdom as being useful land. So you got 29 million miles worth of useful land. 23 million is what the black man uses. 6 million is what the colored man uses. I utilize all 29, God. I utilize everything within my circumference at that time. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like, and as far as me dealing with the, the, the wisdom that she's German, she ain't turning me. She ain't grafting me. Okay, okay. You understand? I'm born in her to where she can sit and have a conversation with you, and she'll be building with you on lessons. Right. Most particularly is a brother that, if, you know what I mean, it's one of my brothers that I came up with as a rapper. Uh -huh. His name is Big Red. If anybody out there know Big Red, uh -huh. if you see Big Red, if you talk to him on the phone, you're going to think he was an original black man. Uh -huh. Big Red looks like a lumberjack. Red beard, red. You know, he got the red hair, but he bald-headed. Uh -huh. Killer MC. Right. Fuck with Diamond D. Big Red, Caucasian brother, live up in the Bronx. His government name, Frank White. 
<laughs> now, this is a Caucasian brother, and his government name is Frank White, right? Mm-hmm. But in hip hop, who is Frank White? Biggie. Right. Right. So Biggie, people want to know how the God fucking with a Caucasian, but Biggie calling himself Frank White, rest in peace to the brother, yeah. calling himself Frank White instead of being an original black man. Right. But not comparing the two, I'm just trying to say with the semantics of whoever's listening and whoever, if you want, whoever want to build with me is God body, who want to test my knowledge of self, I went through trial and tribulation to become God by the universal son born here law. I got this in 1981. I've been amongst the gods, man. I've been in Cyprus throughout the United States, throughout the world, when brothers wasn't shown and proven. <laughs> when I made the record Be Black, I was manifesting to my people, Be Black. Right. Well, Don't I think, I think, African. I think, that's what I, that, I guess that's where I'm coming from because okay, I, 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 I guess you know based off of the 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 comments that's left and things that people are saying I just want to give them some clarity I think we we we, we, we reached a level of, of, of understanding for them um, no, but, look, but, let me, but let me make one thing also clear man it's not I'm not on the offense that Caucasian wisdom that I deal with right I took it to the law school mm. I took it to the gods. I took it to knowledge, wisdom, equality, con 26. Mm. I took it in the school, showed her who the father was. I showed her, because if you're going to deal with me, you're going to have to know all my people. Right. I took up most of the gods in Patterson, New Jersey, the gods I grew up with. Natural born, universe in them. You know, the gods, they, they, you know, God, you're making devil. Well, I get the jokes, God, but they know she's sharp with it. Right. You feel me? Right. And then besides that, with whatever part of technology and whatever part of the millennials I don't want to deal with, that's my age. Right. All that Facebook shit, all that Instagram shit, all that, you know, tender, catfish, swag, this, that, and <laughs> third. I put on all that shit. Run that shit back. Find out all that shit. Run it back to me. Right. You feel me? Right. So it ain't really about... It ain't really about a Caucasian thing. So it ain't really about you, you, you. I, I, it, it's, it's not about your beliefs, be, and, and, and what you. So it's not a contradiction of your beliefs, is what I guess you're right, trying to say. Right, and, and see, it's not like my beliefs. Like the nation of Islam is not my belief. That's my culture. I live that. Right. You understand? Right. I, I live that. I breathe that. You know, I speak that. If I tell her right now, yo. Uh, check my God degree. Let me know when it's the born hour and, and speak math. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I say all that shit in front of you. When I'm when I'm want to say something in a broad like in society, I tell her, yo, look at this father Allah truth wisdom. She like a power Islam God. Look at her. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what I'm saying, but she speaks. She I taught her to speak my language. Right. You feel me? Right. So this, and it ain't the science of trying to marry her. It ain't the science of trying to have a baby with her or see with her or anything like that. Yeah. It's the science of I'm teaching her. She around God, so she around the sun, so she gonna get that light. Okay. She gonna get that illuminate that I got to offer. If it was, you know, the same light I shown around, original wisdoms. Mm -hmm. What happened? They want to start smoking crack, deception, stealing from me and all that. I did it around Caucasian, you know, I did it to, um, not Caucasian, uh, Puerto Rican women. You know, not so much Dominican women. All the Dominican women that I ever dealt with were civilized. And, you know, they, they understood the God, but they stayed with, they stayed with their um, Catholicism, what they dealt with being Catholic or whatever. Mm. But the, the, the power rules and all the other wisdoms, Oh, long as king. Now, see, she ain't meet me as king's son. She ain't meet me on the on the rap level with this, that, and the third, because she wasn't into that. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Well, once she did the knowledge, when she heard me say king's son, and I wasn't dealing with her, she heard me tell her God, king's son, she went on her own. Right. And Googled, oh, shit, king's son, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Then when I asked her brothers and them, yo, King Son, nah, it's King Son the rapper. Oh, yeah, I met him, bye-bye. But she ain't interested in all that. Right. You know what I mean? 
Right. I try to take it to her old dad because they got her old dad like, oh, I ain't fucking with you. You fuck with black niggas and shit. Oh, okay, bro. Now I'm showing her that's how Caucasians gonna come at you. Right. 